fam, and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds. So today's video is a very highly requested one, and that is going to be how to harness train your bird. For many birds, harness training is a long and difficult process, and in the end, some birds just will not wear a harness, and you gotta be okay with that. Asking a bird to wear a harness is asking a lot of them because most birds are not used to wearing anything, and some birds just don't like to be touched in certain areas, and there are other ways to take your bird outside. If your bird won't want to wear a harness, then I really recommend backpack carriers like the Paco Bird. That way you can still take your bird on walks. You can use any carrier to just carry your bird outside, place them on a table or a patio. It's really healthy for birds to go outside because they get their vitamin D from the sunlight and they also get to see all the things outside and that is really enriching for them. You should not be clipping your bird's wings as a method of taking them outside. I have said this before, so many clipped birds fly away. Even Violet was a bird that was found outside with clipped wings. All it takes for a clipped bird to fly away is a loud noise, something spooks them, they take off, and yes, they can still take off. Maybe they have one or two flight feathers grown in that you didn't notice, or there's a breeze and that takes them right into a tree, never to be seen again. I've got a tail sticking out from my hair. Kermit is the only one of my birds that is harness trained and I get tons of comments asking when will Ducky go outside? Is Ducky harness trained? The answer is no. Ducky is a very sensitive bird, it's just her personality. Ducky does get really spooked by strangers and going on a walk obviously means you're going to be encountering a lot of people and it's just not the right fit for her. But she does go outside in my garden, I will take her in a carrier and just put it right on the table. A lot of people ask, can budgies wear harnesses? The answer is yes, they do make harnesses for budgies. But those harnesses do tend to be a little bit big on them when you compare a budgie's size. They are not exactly proportionate, and so you do need to do a little bit more training with a budgie. You need to work with them more. A lot of budgies also tend to be flighty, so they're not always great with being handled in order for the harness to come on. A lot of budgies don't really like being touched in those ways. But yes, it is possible for a budgie to wear a harness. It just takes a lot of training and a lot of desensitization. The harness that I use is the aviator harness. I really think this is the best one. It's got this stretchy elastic leash so when your bird flies to the end of it it's not going to pull them back instead they are going to basically flutter at the end of that leash and it gives them time to turn around and come back to you for Kermit who is a green cheek conure I use the extra extra small size also called the petite size and that size will also work for a cockatiel now let's get on to the actual harness training process the harness training process can take a very, very long time, all depending on the bird. Some birds might be comfortable with it right away. Some birds will take months and months and months of dedicated training just to wear the harness. You've gotta be patient, you've gotta work at the bird's pace, and you don't wanna move ahead and rush your bird into doing something that they're not comfortable doing. With Kermit, I harness trained him last year, so this is the second summer that he's been able to go outside. I started in the winter and he was able to go outside by the spring, so it took a few months, I'd say maybe three months for Kermit to be comfortable wearing the harness, but it's different for every single bird. Now the first step to harness training is just getting your bird comfortable with the sight of the harness. When you first get your harness, you might notice that your bird is actually scared of just looking at it, and if that is the case, what you want to do is put it somewhere where your bird can see it, for example, right near their cage, on top of the cage, but don't put it close to them yet. Just put it down somewhere so your bird can get used to it, and don't move it, and don't touch it. You can skip the step if your bird is not visibly scared of the harness. If your bird was scared of the harness and you put it down somewhere where they can see it, they will probably just forget that it's there in a few days. And after that, the next step is starting to incorporate positive reinforcement into your harness training using a food treat that your bird enjoys. This goes for all training, but in harness training, you want your bird to be very motivated. What you want to do is pick a treat that your bird really, really enjoys, that they go crazy over, but they can't have it in their normal diet. If you're using millet as your treat, you can't have millet hanging in their cage. You shouldn't have millet hanging in your cage anyway, but in harness training, you really want your bird to associate the harness with something special. It's gotta be a really rewarding treat. So basically, the harness is already sitting on a surface, and what you wanna do is get your bird to inch closer to the harness using the treat. Put the treat right near the harness. You don't even have to be holding the treat. Just put treats all around the harness so your bird gets close to it. Your bird is going to be lured by that treat to move closer to that harness, and when they do, give them that treat, reward them, and praise them. 
Even if they're not going right up to that harness right away, give them that treat for any step of progress. For some birds, they're gonna be comfortable going right up to the harness right away. And still do this step, even if your bird is not scared of the harness because you want your bird to associate the harness with good things. Once your bird is comfortable with going right up to that harness, what you wanna do is start touching the harness while your bird is there as you're giving your bird treats. And then what you can do is lift up the harness and you want your bird to be comfortable with you holding out the harness in order for you to put it on them. I recommend that you practice this step once or twice a day for a period of about 10 minutes. If you see that your bird is losing interest and starting to wander off, stop the session. You don't want your bird to get tired during a training session because the whole thing should be positive. So after your bird is completely comfortable with you just holding up the harness in front of your bird, what you wanna do is start the training to get your bird comfortable with the head loop of the harness. But you don't wanna use the actual head loop at first. When you're starting out the training for the head loop, what you want to use is actually one of the wing loops and you want to stretch it out very wide so your bird is very comfortable and they're not going to be putting their head through something that's very small. You just hold up the harness like you were doing before with this wing loop stretched out and you put a treat on the other side of the wing loop so your bird has to stick their head a little bit through that wing loop in order to get that treat. Basically, all you're doing right now is you're repeating this step over and over again. Hold up the harness, put the treat on the other side of the wing loop, and have your bird stick their head through. If your bird is completely comfortable with that, what you can do is start gradually making that wing loop smaller in preparation for when you're gonna put the harness on and actually use the small head loop. You also wanna get your bird comfortable with leaving their head through the loop for longer periods of time, so you wanna continuously keep giving them treats. As your bird gets more comfortable, you wanna keep gradually making that wing loop smaller and smaller until it's almost that same size as the actual head loop. In addition to the wing loop method, I actually used a different method to get Kermit comfortable with the head loop once he was comfortable with the wing loop. What I did was just make my hand into a circle like this and asked him to stick his head through the hole. Now, even if your bird is comfortable with sticking their head through the loop for a moment, you really need to get your bird very comfortable with being touched and handled all over because the harness is going to be going on them. They're gonna be wearing it. And in order to put the harness on, you do need to handle them. You guys might see Kermit being a magnet where he goes into my hand. That is actually something he learned from harness training. What I did was I put my hand on his back and rewarded him because in order to put the harness on, I do need to hold him gently. Now a lot of birds are not comfortable with this right away, so when you start, you don't even wanna move your hand up to your bird. What you wanna do instead is cup your hand and then lure your bird into your hand with a treat so your bird's back is touching your hand. Kermit is really a bird that does not mind being held, so he really took to the harness training well, but this is a step where some birds might just not be comfortable with it and you have to accept it. So the next step in harness training is getting your bird comfortable with you touching their wings in preparation for putting their wings through the wing holes. At first, you just wanna practice putting your hand on the side of their wing, just like you've been practicing putting your hand on their back. If they're comfortable with that, the next step is just to lift their wing up a little bit. And a lot of birds do not like their wings touched, so this might take a really long time for your bird. So with every training session, you just wanna start lifting their wing a little bit higher until you think that you can get their wing through the loop. And once you're done with both the head loop part and the wing part, then you're able to put the harness on your bird. Once you get the harness on your bird for the first time, give them tons of treats, praise them a lot, give them unlimited treats basically, tell them how good they did because it is a huge accomplishment to put the harness on. And then once you get your harness on, obviously comes the best part, you can take your bird outside. 
Yeah, he's in my hair. You see him? Yes, girl. Reaching the end goal is what makes harness training all worth it. I get a lot of comments saying for some reason that I don't hold the harness, but I do have it around my wrist the entire time. I would never just let go of the harness. I don't know why you guys thought I did. enjoyed this video and learn about how to harness train your bird let me know in the comments if your bird is harness trained and don't forget to subscribe I will see you guys in my next video